like to thank you for coming to our extremely popular meet and greet event tonight. <laughs> My husband Dave and I have been hosting this event every Friday night for the last five years and it's been an absolute joy of ours. <laughs> we in fact met at a speed dating night just like this one and maybe tonight the same will happen for you. Remember, destiny awaits you. <laughs> I'm Dave, Sasha's husband. Now, if I could just get each of you to fill out one of these meet your match, soon to be patented questionnaires, we can better help pair you with your soulmate. <laughs> So uh, you come to these things a lot, huh? The questionnaire says you do this almost every Friday. Yeah, I, I guess I just haven't met my mate. <laughs> so a striking young man like yourself hasn't had any luck yet? I find that hard to believe. Uh, sort of. I, I guess I just haven't met someone I genuinely click with. But I like these, they're fun. And you meet some interesting people. I've never been speed dating. This is my first time. I saw it on TV and well, thought I'd try it out. Um, so, uh, what, what, what are you into? You mean like sex stuff? Uh, no, I... Uh, no. I'm into some kinky things, but you know, I'm also down to earth. I usually just like to start out with good old making out. I, I meant like, like reading. Well, <clears throat> time's up. So, the, the latest movie you've seen. X-Men. It was literally the best movie I'd ever seen. And afterward, I went to this Chinese place. They literally had the best food on the planet. Really? Never mind. Um, so, the, the movie. Yeah, it was amazing. Have you seen it yet? Best movie ever. No, I haven't, I haven't seen it. You see that guy over there? He literally looks just like Brian Gosling, doesn't he? <laughs> so yeah, I'm about to graduate from Stanford with a degree in bioengineering. And I'm really looking forward to graduate studies in the fall. Oh, wow, that's, that's really cool. So uh, what are your plans after you're done with school? I mean, you'll have some great employment options. Actually, I'm just looking to get married and settle down. As far as I'm concerned, the only professional I want to be is mom. And I just really want to have kids. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. So you're about to graduate from Stanford and your big plans are motherhood? And teaching. I'm gonna homeschool them. Uh, so, uh, what'd you do last night? Well, I was at the Nader rally and started talking to the whales.
so uh, how have your other dates been so far? Have you had any luck? Actually, not really. Something just always seems off. I mean, I'm not picky per se, but does that make any sense? I, I completely understand. These events are made for you to find your soulmate, and who wants a soulmate that bugs them? Exactly. And if you're not willing to put up with someone's pet peeves, per se, it really is worth the extra work of finding that right person. I, I totally agree. These events are made to be fun. It makes finding the right person that much more enjoyable. This is fun, isn't it? Even the bad dates really aren't that bad. I talked to this one guy who does avian vet work, except he wouldn't stop cracking his knuckles. It wasn't during the whole date, per se, but it was enough to get on my nerves. But, but this date... Would you, uh, like to catch dinner after this? I heard the burger place next door has awesome hometown burgers, and the atmosphere is just great. I'd like that. I'm not much of a burger girl per se, but I hear they have a great selection on salads.